Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Rocket League Mechanic Series. Today, I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about how to aerial faster in Rocket League. Now, air laying is something that I think is often overlooked when people think of Rocket League mechanics, because everyone likes to focus on the flashy stuff like flip resets and air dribbles. The truth is, though, almost all of these fancy mechanics require you to also have a high level of aerial car control. So needless to say, if you want to learn a mechanic that will actually help you improve and rank up quick, I suggest you stick around for this video. Before I get into this though, I wanted to give a shout out to the loyal 3% of you all watching this video right now who are currently subscribed to the channel. <laughs> all jokes aside guys, if you're watching right now and aren't currently subscribed, please consider subbing if you like this video. It's totally free and you can always unsub whenever you want. Anyways, without any further wait, let's talk about how to aerial in Rocket League. Alright guys, in my opinion, the best way to understand aerialing is actually by breaking the mechanic down into steps. So when it comes to aerialing, I think we can split this mechanic up into two main steps. Step 1 being the takeoff, and step 2 being the flight. Starting with the takeoff, I'm going to spend some extra time here because I think this is the part of airling that most people get wrong. Now, when it comes to the takeoff, we have two main goals and it's very common for people to get at least one of these things wrong. Okay, the first goal of the takeoff is pretty straightforward and it's simply speed. Now, it sounds obvious enough that we wanna be getting our car up into the air as fast as possible. But this is actually an area that I see even intermediate players routinely messing up. Now, when it comes to creating a speedy takeoff, the formula is actually pretty simple, and it's something that many of you have probably already figured out, but like I said, many people get it wrong. Now, to show you what I mean when I say most people get this wrong, I'm going to compare two styles of aerialing side by side. Now, on the left side, what you'll see is probably what you expect a fast aerial to be, where you double jump, tilt your car back, and then boost into the air. Overall, this style of aerial does get you up into the air, and it's totally fine, but if you compare the speed of this style with, say, a pro player, it's clearly not as quick as many of the pro's aerials. So now on the right, I'm going to be doing the same set of inputs, which are jumping, tilting my car back, and boosting, but instead of doing these things one by one, which is what a lot of beginners do, I'm actually going to do all these inputs at once. Now to do this, you have to be able to simultaneously jump, tilt your car back, and boost. And it's for this reason that I don't recommend the default controls. Now, I talk about this more in depth in my controller settings video, but the bottom line is, if you have all these buttons bound right next to each other, like in the default controls, you're not going to be able to press them simultaneously, which is going to greatly reduce your aerial speed, as you can see by comparing the left and the right sides. So back to my point earlier, what this shows is to get the fastest takeoff, you need to be boosting throughout the motion. Okay. Now that we've discussed speed, let's talk about the other often overlooked goal of the takeoff, which is just putting you in line with the ball. Now I was coaching a guy on my Patreon a few days ago, and what his problem was is not that he couldn't take off quick, but he'd mess up his read and pick a bad line to the ball. Now this is something I see a lot, and if you're someone who finds themselves jumping too early and routinely misjudging where the ball is actually going to be, then this is that part of the aerial that you need to work on. Now, unlike speed, to train your ability to read and predict where the ball is going to be, you're going to have to get some in-game experience. And the truth is, you're not going to improve this ability without just going into the game and learning the hard way. That being said, there are some good training packs that can help with this sort of thing. And my favorite one is this one called Double Jump Aerials by Paquito. This pack is great for those of you who are still in the learning stages of quick aerials because the training pack progressively gets harder and the first few shots give you quite a good amount of time to get things set up. That said, this pack isn't perfect and nothing can perfectly match up to actually reading the ball live in game. But if you're struggling with the read part, of the takeoff, this is going to be the next best option for you to train that skill. 
The reality is though, no matter how good you are at taking off quickly, there are inevitably going to be times in game where you realize your takeoff was slightly off and you have to perform a mid-air correction to still hit the ball. So now that we've gone over step one with the takeoff, let's move on to step two and talk a little bit about mid-air corrections and part two of aerialing, which is the flight. Like I said earlier, no matter what, sometimes there are going to be situations where your read on the ball is slightly off and you need to correct yourself mid-air. Other times, you'll realize you have to get up last second and you won't really have the time to perfectly line yourself up and get a good takeoff, which is where the flight comes in. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I wish I had a shortcut to learning the flight part of the aerial, but the reality is a lot of this flight step just comes down to experience and your current level of aerial car control. That said, there are some tips I give for this step in other videos, and I actually recently made a video called The Secret to Aerial that went over aerial car control and a lot of you seem to like. At the end of the day though, I truly believe the only way to get the flight down is to practice it for yourself. We talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? When it comes to training the flight part of the aerial, there are a bunch of different ways to practice for different ranked players. So for the purposes of this video, I'll recommend a bunch of different training drills in order from beginner to more advanced levels. Okay, for beginners training the flight, aside from just using the default psionics aerial packs, the best training pack I'll recommend is Kevpert's aerial car control pack. What I like about this pack is it doesn't shoot the ball out, it actually holds it midair for you, which in essence covers that read part of the takeoff. So all you have to focus on is controlling your car midair. Now, beginning to learn aerials is definitely one of the hardest parts. So if you're starting with this pack, I'd highly recommend you give it time and you stick to learning this pack until you really have it down. Once you feel comfortable doing this training pack, the next step I'd recommend as a coach training somebody who's say now intermediate level would be to move straight over to workshop maps, such as Lethemir's Rings. Now I know it might seem weird for me to recommend getting rid of the ball after I just told you to start with a training pack, but I do believe the best way to improve your aerial car control is just to isolate your car in workshop maps. This way, you'll be learning how to control your car before you start incorporating a moving ball. So at the very least, you won't be putting the cart before the horse. An extra tip for workshop maps that I think people miss out on is just like training packs, you wanna try to progress from easier workshop maps to more difficult workshop maps. So if you're just starting with these, I'd recommend beginning with something more simple like Speed Jump Rings 2 by DMC, and only after you're good there, Try moving over to say Lathomir's Rings or a hard map like Rings 3 or Rings 1 by DMC. Once again, this stuff takes time, so I know I'm moving quickly here, but really do be patient with yourself and understand that the first time you jump into one of these trainings, you're not going to get it all at once. Consistency is key here, and I promise if you stick to it, you will get this down in the end. But after you spend a good amount of time on workshop maps, only then do I recommend the final step of training aerials, which is coming back to training and actually start incorporating a moving ball. For this step, I'd once again begin with a more simple pack like Double Jump Aerials by Doomsie, then move on to an intermediate pack like Devo, and finally, if those are both easy, you can try a really hard pack like Corrupted. In summary guys, if you follow this training style, you'll have first learned the takeoff, then how to hit a stationary ball, then how to make mid-air adjustments with your car, and finally, you'll bring everything together with actually scoring a ball mid-flight. Overall, this is really all you need to know to learn how to aerial as fast as possible in Rocket League. Now, like I said earlier, this is a lot of information to digest all at once, so be patient and remember, this is a learning process. My number one tip when it comes to training is taking things step by step. So if we go back to the steps of learning the aerial, really do your best to learn these things in order. And I promise if you do things that way, you'll improve much faster than if you had it. One last piece of advice that I'll leave you with before I talk about the monthly giveaway is to try to keep your training sessions short. Now, I say this in a lot of my videos, but I really do believe it's much more effective to have three quality 15 minute sessions than it is to have one hour long session where you stop paying attention after 20 minutes. So if you can give yourself time to learn this mechanic and you follow the step by step breakdown 
I mentioned in this video, you'll be off to learning aerialing in no time at all. All right, guys, that is about all for this video. But if you're new to the channel and don't know about the monthly giveaway I do, then this is the part of the video where I'll talk more about that. Now, the support on my videos and on my Patreon recently has been incredible, and honestly, I'm so thankful for all your guys' support. But the truth is, I've actually been really stressed trying to manage making videos, coaching people on my Patreon, and being a full-time student on top of that. All that said, I don't want to get rid of the monthly giveaway, so from now on, at the end of every month, I'm going to dial things back, but I'll still be picking a random commenter on my videos to win two months worth of coaching in Rocket League. Now normally, as you guys know, I only coach my Patreon members, but if your comment gets picked, I'll coach you for four sessions over two months completely free of charge. So if you want to enter for a chance to win that, I'm going to be managing everything in the future on my Discord. So make sure to join my Discord, link in description, and there will be a chat channel there where you can react and enter in this giveaway. Anyways though guys, that's all I've got, so thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace. Come on.